Hi, my name is Brian Whitmarsh, and I'm a product manager here at CA Technologies. In this short video, I'm going to be talking to you about App Experience Analytics, coupled with our application performance management solution. These solutions enable you to provide a five-star experience. Now, I live in rural Idaho, so when I'm not eating potatoes, uh, I do a lot of online shopping. The problem with that is that I can't purchase anything these days without looking at the star ratings and the reviews. It might even just be a simple flyswatter water that I'm purchasing. Why did one flyswatter water get two stars versus another? Our customers and users are selecting their products and services in a very similar fashion. In fact, they may choose which brand of car, for example, to purchase based on the mobile app experience. They may choose which company to have their money at in, in banking based on which application or online experience or how they can deposit a check easy. Uh, or they may even be selecting which insurance uh, that they're going to select based on how easy they have a mobile app to, to file claims. So it's very important to make sure that we're keenly focused on providing the best end user experience. Now, App Experience Analytics allows you to have an outside-in view of the customer experience. Now, now, what does that mean? That is actually the ability to kind of virtually peek over the shoulder and watch the users as they're using the application. So you may have an application that has a slow-performing lookup. So you have that spinny dial, and that typically turns into the spinny dial of bad reviews. Now, the outside-in view is going to say that that spinny dial lasted for five seconds. But what it doesn't tell you is exactly what caused that spinny dial to spin for five seconds. That's where we have the advantage at CA to be able to couple the App Experience Analytics solution with our CA Application Performance Management solution. That solution actually has an inside-out view. It lets you know behind the scenes where in the application layer or in the infrastructure layer is there a problem that is resulting into the poor user experience or that spinny dial of bad reviews. Now, let me whiteboard for you this whole outside-in, inside-out concept. First of all, let's talk about why an application might have a problem. If an application is going to have a problem, it could have a problem in probably one of three areas. The first area that the application might have a problem is in the actual infrastructure of the application. So we'll draw the infrastructure silo here. This is one aspect of the application. For example, if we get spinny dials that take a long time, something behind the scenes is slow. So the performance of the application is failing, which is leading to a bad user experience. Another area where the application might have a problem would be in the actual coding of the application. If there's issues with the coding of the application, you may have bugs in your application. And the third area may be in the actual design of the application. If an application is not instantly intuitive, then users are going to be unhappy and provide poor reviews of the application. So your application can fail in one of these three areas. Application Experience Analytics actually collects analytics in these three main categories. These three main categories help operations, they help the developers, as well as the app owners. Now, let's understand the outside-in and inside-out views. First of all, if we have our user here, Application Experience Analytics is actually monitoring the end-user experience of that user. We call that an outside-in view. Now, behind the scenes, the application is being supported by calls to back-end applications. In order to see and understand what's taking place, you need to have an inside-out view. While App Experience Analytics provides an outside-in view, CA's App Performance Management solution provides a detailed inside-out view of understanding what's taking place at the application layer and in addition to what is taking place at the infrastructure layer. Now in the inside-out view, which is tied to the infrastructure, you have new technologies that need to be supported by your application. So maybe your application is developed in a, a Node.js environment. Maybe it's in a microservices architecture. Maybe it's cloud. There are a number of new technologies that need to be supported. But guess what? There are still older technologies that in a lot of cases a business transaction actually is called from 
that need to be supported as well. Mainframes still exist for sure. Middleware is another example. ERP solutions, J2EE, and so on. So understanding that we need to be able to monitor both the user experience from an outside-in perspective, and at that point we know that we had a over five second call, for example, for a product lookup. And then being able to take that poor user experience and directly link it into which part of the infrastructure is responsible for that slow call. And then to tie this all together, everything is based on an analytics engine. This analytics engine allows our customers to gain true business insights from the analytics that's being collected. The advantage of App Experience Analytics is that it provides analytics across all three main categories, infrastructure, code, or design. Your application can fail in one of these three categories, and App Experience Analytics can pinpoint exactly where in the process your application may have failed. Additionally, it provides the necessary analytics to help you resolve the issue very, very quickly. All right, now let's take a look at a user experience. We have a customer that wants to purchase tickets. So they go to this ticket change website. They click on concerts. They see the available concerts that uh, they can purchase tickets for. And there's John Elton. That's the concert they want to go to. When they click on this to get the tickets, we notice a big delay. In fact, we see a spinny dial here, and that took more than three seconds. I actually call that the spinny dial of bad reviews because it took so long. So now let's go look at App Experience Analytics and the information that it collected from a end user perspective. All right, here is the App Experience Analytics console uh, filtered for this one specific application. And we see things like uh, usage around the world. We can see if there's any particular problems or hotspots but we actually want to jump straight to that session. So we can click on App Sessions here and see the list of application sessions. We see this latest session, which is our session. And at this point, we can actually see every single event that took place from the start of the session to the end of the session. Let's jump straight to the end of the session because we know that we had a slow call to get tickets. In fact, that call was over five seconds long. At this point, we would like to investigate further. We, here we have an outside-in view of the end-user experience. Now we need to switch into an inside-out view to understand behind the scenes which infrastructure is responsible for those five seconds. We can simply click on this APM trace link. This trace link takes us directly into the trace of that application call. We notice here is our shop view products call. The duration is over five seconds, which is not good. And we can see the summary of the call. Well, it's just sort by call time. And we notice right away that this one method call is taking up uh, th over three seconds. And if we change the view here, we can change it into trace view. And we can see a graphical representation of this one call. This allows us to figure out where the blame is in this particular class on this particular method for this application server is exactly where we need to focus our energy in order to speed up that slow spinny dial of bad reviews. This clearly takes us from an outside-in view of the customer end-user experience directly into an inside-out view that allows us to understand where the root cause of the problem is in just a few clicks. I hope this video was informative for you and I would encourage you to get started with a free trial. In fact, in less than five minutes, you can actually be collecting analytics for your existing application. Simply go out to ca.com forward slash AXA to get signed up today. Thank you for watching.